I want to show you some examples in oxidation reduction reactions. So this table shows different some examples for nonmetals and their oxidation state. For example, fluorine is minus one. As you see here, we have MgF2, Mg is plus two. We have two atoms of fluorine, so it's gonna be minus one. Hydrogen, most of the time it is plus one, let's say always. H2O, we have plus two and oxygen becomes minus two. So oxygen minus two most of the time. CO2, as you see here, C carbon is going to be plus four and here we have two atoms of oxygen which is minus two two times minus two is going to be minus four so therefore carbon oxidation states going to be plus four so for group 7a is minus one like ccl4 minus one for each of those chlorine atoms group 6a minus two usually h2s for sulfur and group 5a is minus 3 like nitrogen in h3 ammonia compound so let's have some examples sign an oxidation state to each atom in each element ion or compound for example cl2 since cl2 is a free element the oxidation state of both cl atoms is zero so as you see here we have two atoms of cl and it's free element so it the oxidation state is zero Assign an oxidation state for Na+. So we have ion here, monoatomic ion. So the oxidation state of Na plus is plus one, as you see here. Next one is Kf. The oxidation state of K is plus one and fluorine is minus one. Since this is a neutral compound, the sum of the oxidation state has to be zero. So K is plus one, F is minus one. So plus one minus one is gonna be zero. And next one is CO2 carbon dioxide. So we have two atoms of oxygen and one atom of carbon. So if we go back, we can say the oxygen state of oxygen is minus two, and we have two atoms of oxygen. So two times minus two is gonna be minus four. And since we have the uh, neutral compound, it has to be zero, the summation of all oxidation states. So we have minus four for oxygen part. So carbon has to be plus four. To make it zero so co2 we have one atom of carbon plus two atoms of oxygen so here we have seen two times minus two is can, it has to be equal to zero so we have minus four here so carbon has to be plus four so four minus two times plus two times minus two is going to be zero and assign an oxygen state of each atom in each element uh, in our compound here we have sulfate so 4 2 minus so as you see here we are dealing with an ion so it has to be minus 2 the summation of all oxidation states of sulfur and oxygen so the oxidation state oxidation state of oxygen is minus 2 we would ordinarily accept expect the oxidation state of sulfur to be minus 2 However, if that were the case, the sum of the oxidation states would not equal the charge of the ion. So since O is higher on the list than sulfur, it takes priority and we compute the oxidation state of S by setting the sum of all oxidation states equals to minus two. So let's see it here. So it has to be minus two. So we have one atom of sulfur plus four atoms of uh, oxygen. So oxygen is minus two, so four times minus two has to be minus eight. And this one has to be minus two, so we need to have plus six here. So oxygen state of sulfur is plus six. So in periodic tables, since sulfur is over oxygen, it has a priority over oxygen. So we can say we have six here, and four times minus two is going to be minus two, as you see here. Let's see next example, K2O2. That's a very good example here. So usually, as you remember before, we said the oxidation state of oxygen is minus two and oxidation state of potassium is plus one because it belongs to group 1A. And since this is the neutral 
compound, the summation of all oxidation states has to be equal to zero. But as you see here, if we assign minus two here and plus one here, it's gonna be two minus four becomes minus two. So that's incorrect. So we can say here we have plus one and we need to calculate the oxidation state of oxygen. So the oxidation state of potassium is plus one. We would ordinarily ex expect the oxidation state of oxygen to be minus two, but we did use the oxidation state of O by setting the sum of all the all of the oxidation states equal to zero. So we have two atoms of potassium plus two atoms of oxygen. It has to be zero. So two times plus one plus two times oxidation state of oxygen has to be equal to zero. So here for oxidation state of oxygen, we need to have minus one. So K2O2 is gonna be two plus two times minus one has to be equal to zero.